Well, it is what you would expect in third world countries. But in fact, here in America, we have had surveillance of a sitting president. Hillary Clinton and her campaign set up President Trump during his campaign and after he won the presidency in 2016 and 17. Special counsel John Durham's latest filing on the Russia collusion lie reveals the Clinton campaign paid a government contracted technology company to intercept and spy on President Trump before and during his time as president, mining data from Trump Tower in New York, his Central Park West apartment building, as well as the Oval Office. Congressman Mike Turner with me yesterday on Sunday Morning Futures. Absolutely. We have to get to the truth. I mean, this is a threat to our democracy itself. It doesn't matter really which political campaign this is or which political party this is. This is so wrong. Even Democrats apparently want more information. A new poll shows 66 percent of Democrats want Clinton questioned on her role in manufacturing dirt on Donald Trump to try and tie him to Russia. Liz Peake, uh, Michael Lee with me this morning. And Liz, this is just obviously extraordinary. And for what, four or five years, the Democrats have been ignoring this, uh, hiding it under the rug. Adam Schiff was out everywhere during 16, 17, 18, and 2019, saying that there was collusion in plain sight. Your thoughts? Well, I mean, it's just horrifying, Maria. I mean, Pulitzer Prizes were awarded for fake reporting on a fake investigation into fake activities. Uh, you know, this is, I, I think, truly worse than Watergate. Watergate was a bunch of ham-fisted burglars, you know, up to sort of political dirty tricks. This is spying on an American president. I mean, I, I hope this goes up the ranks. I hope we, that John Durham, bless his heart for sticking with this, is not content to pursue only Michael Sussman, a low-level uh, Clinton operative. I'd like to see James Comey questioned on this, James Clapper. We need to know who authorized this, who was involved. And if it's Hillary Clinton herself, I hope they do question her. If Republicans take over Congress, you can be pretty sure we're going to see some investigations here. Yeah, well, that's exactly yeah. right. And, 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 you know, I mean... Uh, to think that they were able to intercept the White House and the office of the President of the United States, I mean, you would think how many foreign adversaries there are out there that want to be able to intercept the data and the Internet traffic of a sitting President of the United States. And here you have Hillary Clinton, who's running for president, able to pay a technology company who obviously had access because they were contracted uh, to actually intercept data from a sitting president. Michael, we don't know if we're going to see indictments uh, further in the next couple of weeks, but I would say there will be many more indictments to come uh, as this continues to uh, show what took place here. Michael. M Maria, every time you peel back the layers, it gets worse and worse and worse. And like, let's 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 yeah. not forget um, the, 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 you know, the FBI never investigated the DNC server. Um, it's just one right. lie after Good another point. after another. Yeah, it's a great point. She's actually surveilling his traffic, but she's got a server in her house so nobody can see her emails. Hillary Clinton.